to Marble Mountain where excitement and beauty collide. Get ready to unleash your inner adventurer as we conquer towering peaks, transverse hidden caves and discover the secrets within. Let's embark on a heart-pounding, mind-blowing journey at Marble Mountains in Vietnam. What's up guys? It's Krishma and welcome to my channel and welcome to Da Nang, a modern city here in Vietnam. So, we are doing here a one-day day tour in which we will be covering the Marble Mountain which is right in front of me. So we just came from Ho Chi Minh City and Mahase now we are at Dana. We took a quick flight which was around like an Irish flight and it was super quick and we landed here and now we are moving forward to explore the Marble Mountain. Our tour guide, Ting, can you let us know any important or fascinating fact about the Marble Mountain over here? Hello, everyone. So, welcome to the Marble Mountain. So, Marble Mountain is one of the most beautiful landscapes in the central coast of Vietnam. This belongs to Da Nang City. It's a perfect uh, location. It's uh, located between the Da Nang and Hoi An uh, on the coast. And when the people come here, they they can see beautiful uh, cave and the old Buddhist temples. Which uh, which been uh, building uh, more than hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. Also, they can see many like, Hindu temple inside the cave, uh, dating from ninth, tenth century, but more than thousand years ago. Here, there are five mountains, and they named it by using five elements of the universe: so water, fire, earth, wood, and metal. So this one is the most beautiful one, and the biggest one named the Water Mountains. And that's uh, the reason why to attract many tourists to come to visit here almost every day. So thank you and hope you guys coming here and enjoy your time in the Marble Mountain. Thank you thank very you much. Dan. So there is an elevator facility over here which is so much convenient. It does not take you to the top of the mountain but yes still a limit you can reach over there. And otherwise you can also hike if you like but I don't think we are doing that. We obviously want to take the elevator which is right over there. And elevators are a very view. It's a glass elevator, so you can see the view while going up also. As soon as the elevator doors opened, the view was incredible. The Danang city, the ocean, the clear skies. It was like watching a painting. So beautiful. And being on the top, the wind was mesmerizing. I could just stare at this view for hours. It was so magical. were constructed in the 1990 with the seven stories so each story they were shipping many the Buddha statues inside with the marble statues with more than 200 statues worshipping inside yeah. and seven stories number seven is for a lucky number for the Buddhists yes and on the top of the, on the top of the towers they have the great bell up there so every every special celebrate like the full moon or a Buddhism festival or New Year. So the, the head monk, they go, go all the way up to the top, ring the bell, do meditation, the chanting up there. Yeah. And the tourists, they're not allowed to go there. So the tourists, they come here, you can see, they take a picture around, but they're not allowed to go inside to the top. It is so calm and peaceful out here and you can get the true essence of Vietnamese culture and architecture over here as well. There are many different temples over here and some ancient ones as well which is so beautiful out here. You definitely come here and make place for this place while you come to Vietnam because this is definitely will take you back in time. Dragon for the 
power. The Unicorn for the loyalty. The Phoenix for the beauty. And the Turtle for the longevity. But today, use more the Dragon and Phoenix for the we wedding ceremony. For every wedding ceremony, all the brick wall, they decorate one side of Dragon and one side of the Phoenix. And in the middle of picking the Dragon and Phoenix, they have the, the symbol of the happiness. The symbol of happiness. So that the dragons represent it for the, the groom and the finished beauty for the bride. Oh, yeah, so yes. That we use more the power uh, the more the dragon and the finish for the wedding so. There are also temples over here. There's a sleeping Buddha statue, there's a sitting Buddha statue, plus there's also a Shiva statue and a temple inside also, which is supposedly millions of years old and is carved out of sandstone as well. So it's an interesting place to come and visit, and it's very interesting to see that even like coming to a different country, there's Hinduism here as well. So as explained by the guy, the Hinduism and Buddhism were very close to like the ideology behind it. But it's very fascinating to see a temple here coming to a different country as well. hot and humid outside but inside the caves is very nice and cool and there are these small small flowers which have a very nice fragrance to it so this cave is really very fascinating I am mind blown coming to this place it's so pretty out here out here there's a big Buddha statue right over there and there are a few other temples all over this place and it's lit up so beautifully and it really draws your eyes to the top of the cave which has a very interesting structure to it this is the marble cave here in Tanang that you need to come and visit and witness it and be mind blown you know is this cave is where the shelter the secret hospital for the VC Vietnamese soldiers so uh, the US Army, uh, they call the, the Vietnamese soldiers the VC, yeah, Vietnamese communists, yeah, Vietnamese communists. They, they, were, they were hidden in, inside here, this is a secret hospital, where a doctor and the victim who get injured by bomb, the bullets stay here. The, unfortunately, American soldiers, they found the plate very high and they bomb, they bomb here. I can see the top there, this was the bomb hole. This was basically from the bomb, it is broken by the bomb, the US bomb. The B-52. So after they bombed it and then landing from helicopter and they using the gun, they shooting. Yeah, the the, the enemies took to the old Vietnamese soldiers. And you can see all the brick wall. And you can see on the rock, see the many holes. That's the police hole. It's uh, something remain, uh, remain by for, from the gunshot. That's the police. Yeah, the police hole from the gunshot. It's many. There. From 1968, this happened 1968 to 1972. So this, uh, the, this is the table in the altar where they dedicated to the group of the heroes, the heroes of the countries. So who has a great contribute for the country, for liberation. And you can see this that uh, they uh, they uh, recognized the years. And then many soldiers they die and then they bury all together. We call it a mass grave bear all together mass grave in this area and in 1990 the government they came back here and then they carry on the, well, the soldiers body they rebury at their war memorial special special place for the soldiers only and every year uh, on the 27th of the July uh, so that's the day for celebrate anniversary of all the soldiers in Vietnam. Why do we call the holy water? Normally, 
this one and this one they drip in the water together at the same time but since the king named Minh Mang he came here in the 1820 so and he came inside the cave and this one he was curious and he used his right hand he touched this one before he touched this one is just, the water is still dripping but since he touched which one is this this one is nearest and uh, since he touches this one is, so a few days later is slowly stopping so uh, no dripping so hearing on this many people they believe this one the, the water the holy water so they come here every full moon and they touch water here so this one is still dripping so the king he not he didn't touch this one so the water is still dripping so they touch the water here they spread around their body their hair for good luck mm -hmm. for good luck and now you can try make a wish and then touch a little bit the, the whole holy water points on top of the Marble Mountain. This uh, point hai, from where you can see the entire city is absolutely stunning and the weather now has been quite pleasant. It's windy. Luckily it hasn't rained which is good but it's very windy so it's very good. You should definitely come here and check out the view. You can also see the aeroplane flying from here which is also very nice. So this is a point that I absolutely love. After descending down, you can also check out the colourful shops here, selling bags, souvenirs and also marble statues and decorations which are pretty cool. Love this place and it was a wonderful experience. Got to know and understand the Vietnamese culture and the heritage over here. It was like we traveled back in time, which was so wonderful. And Vietnam ke abhi lag rahe ki ha abhi humne Vietnam dekha. So this was a very nice and a lovely trip, and I would highly recommend to do a one day or a half day trip to Marble uh, Mountains for short. Now from here we are going to Hoi An, which is around 45 minutes from this location, and wahan pe hamara stay hai. And the next vlog is also going to be the Hoi An vlog, jisme ham din din stay karne wale hai, and usme we have to show you what all you can enjoy and see, and pura sightseeing kaisa hoga Hoi An city ka bhi. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification to get notified. And till then, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is me, Grishma, signing off. Until I meet you again in a new place. Bye.